Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery here at the ATA Show 2018. And we've got what may be one of the coolest things that I've seen in here. I'm here with Ted Gartner from Garmin. Ted, what do we got here? We have the new Garmin Zero automatic laser range finding bow sight. It's an integrated laser range finder and a bow sight all in one. Easiest way to describe it is, is it's a point and shoot. You point it at an object, uh, either at full draw or at rest, it automatically gives you the range to that target and it drops a virtual LED pin into your, into your sight. So you know exactly where to aim for that particular shot. There's no gap guessing, there's none of that. Uh, it's, it's all very, very automatically done. And you said it compensates for angles, elevation? It sure does, yeah. So if you're up in a tree stand, you know, a lot of guys, a deer may come in straight below them, and, and I've yeah. heard so many guys say, well, I just put it on the 20 pin and I prayed for it. <laughs> well, this, you don't have to worry about any of that. It does all the math for you. So with, a, with just a single dot in there that it picks, how do you calibrate it? How do you sight in with this? Sure, you typically start at 20 yards, a known distance of 20 yards, and it tells you to shoot a group. And you go and you look on, the, on your target and it asks you on this display here, it says, did you, did you hit a bullseye? Chances are the first time out, you're going to say no. Yeah. So it says, did you aim higher or did you hit high or low? Yeah. High. How high? So it, it'll go down to half an inch increments. So I might say, well, my arrows are hitting two and a half inches high. So it says, okay, shoot another group. It's done all the math in here, and then, so it's adjusted your pin so that next time around at 20 yards, you should be bullseye. And then, how do you get, how does it calibrate then for different speeds out to like 60 or whatever? It, again, you just keep sighting it in at different distances. Uh, okay. So then, if you have a, a pin at 20, and you might want to range out to 60 yards. Yeah. And then anything in between those ranges, it's going to give you an accurate pin. That is incredible. And it also gives you a pin if, if you're at a very close distance. If, for example, there's a, a deer directly right. below you. Gotcha. And I was just looking at the screen there. It looks like it gives you uh, the degree yep. um, uh, of the angle. The, um, the angle. Uh, this is your, your, your current uh, distance, and this is a distance from your last pin. The nice thing is, is you can range it uh, if you're just sitting in your stand and, and you just kind of like typically right. you would range trees, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but you can also range an animal either at rest or at full draw. And I guess we should say the activation is a trigger that gets mounted right here. It's right here. Front. Yep. And yeah, you can yeah. you can mount it on the front, on the side, whatever you're most comfortable with. But you know, the the one thing that we found that this really does is it, is it makes you a more consistent archer because yeah. it requires you to line up that dot with your eye every single time. So I find my form has improved in using this site because it demands yeah. that you have the, the same anchor point every single time. Right, so, right. you know, it, 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 it makes it less, there's, there's a lot less guesswork. Now that looks like a bulky contraption, but it's not. It doesn't weigh much. No, it doesn't. Um, I, I think everybody, when they see it, it looks bulky and it yeah. looks heavy. Uh, it's it's really not. I used to shoot a, a single pin, very popular single pin, um, and it's essentially the same weight as, as something like that. Uh, runs off of two AAA batteries. Uh, oh, okay. that you can find them almost anywhere. Yeah. It's probably good uh, for a season of batteries. Right. Uh, you know, so you can have like 25,000 ranges that you do before you need new batteries. And if you want to throw a couple extra in your pack, you've got that. Nice. Um, you can also, if you'd like, you can put it to a fixed pin configuration where you're seeing a very traditional oh, 20, 30, right. 40, 50 type deal if you want to do it that way. Yeah. Um, there's two price ranges. There's a 799, oh, yeah. the A1, and there's an A1i, which is 999. The difference is in the 999 one, it has a feature called laser locate. So I can sync this up to my Phoenix, Garmin Phoenix watch or a Garmin handheld, and I can shoot an arrow, and it will tell me the precise point of impact for that arrow. So what that does is when it's time to get down out of my stand and go ah. look for a blood trail, it will guide me to exactly where that arrow Come on. Made, it, made impact. <laughs> so then I can start looking for my arrow or, or blood. Other thing That's that the 999 great. version does is it has multiple arrow profiles. So if I hunt a lot or I shoot a lot of 3D in the off season, yeah. light arrows, I can set up that as one profile. Oh, okay. Then if yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm deer or elk hunting and, and using a heavier arrow, yeah. bigger setup, I'll name that profile too. So then 
you're already yep. set. You I'm just always set. Through. Yep, oh, I'm always already set. Awesome. Uh, the the 999 version also lets you change uh, your your dot from a from a red dot to a green dot. So those are the main differences there. Wow, we have come to the next generation here for sure. That's the Garmin Zero. If you got any questions, you can visit us at LangsterArchery.com.